we're going to look at Particulayer. So what Particulayer does is allows you to create groupings of layers. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, I can already do that in the Layers panel. Well, you can't. What you can do in the Layers panel is create sub-layers inside of other layers. But one particular sub-layer cannot belong to multiple top-level layers. So what this allows you to do is create groups that these layers sit in. And you'll see why that's so important in just a moment. Let's take this floor plan, for instance. There are a lot of things in a floor plan. You've got walls, doors, windows, rugs, carpets, furniture, electrical plans, plumbing plans, all of that kind of stuff. And it gets to be a lot of information on a drawing. Now, not everybody that works with you on this particular home or this room here is going to need all of that information. So for instance, we have the interior designer group, one of the groups already created here, a particular. And that contains the doors and walls and windows, of course, but also the furniture, the rugs, and the flooring. Whereas the general contractor here only needs the doors, the walls, the windows, and the flooring. Does not need the furniture and the rugs, okay? So that's for the interior designer. So this allows you to quickly and easily switch between these groups of layers. So you'll see why that's important. If I want to create a new layer, for instance, the electrician, um, I can choose layers to add to the group, and I'm gonna add the electrical layer, and the electrician should also see where the walls and windows and doors are. But he doesn't need to know anything about the flooring, the rugs, or the furniture. And we're gonna call this the electrician group. I'll click OK. And what's that done is that's added an electrician group down here, and you'll see it contains electrical doors, windows, and walls. Now by default, they're all visible and all printable. You can also uh, make layers locked. So if I want to, for instance, print a set of plans for the electrician, I can select electrician right here and go up here and I wanna say, uh, disable printing on others. So what that's gonna do is the electrician layer you see now has the printing icon, but it's got the hollow icon over here for the contractor and industry interior designer. The reason why is that the doors, the walls, and the windows are part of both of these two groups. So those are still printable layers. But in addition, you'll see that we have the electrical layer is also printable. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and unlock all of them. So I can also unlock, lock, hide, show, printing on all of the layers. So I'm gonna say unlock all the layers. So now what I've got is a set of layers for the electrician uh, that are printable for the electrician. I can do the same thing with visibility. So I can turn off, for instance, I'm gonna go over here and say hide all the layers. And now I'm just gonna show what the electrician sees. Now you'll see that's a much different floor plan. Now I'm looking at a very simple floor plan with all the electrical symbols, but I'm not cluttered with any of the uh, stuff that, for instance, the interior designer or the general contractor might see. So that is the power of Particulayer. Anything with a lot of layers and a lot of complexity, you can manage with groups of layers.